In this video, I'm going to give a brief introduction and review of Postal, which is a direct mail and gifting automation software. So Postal is a smart sites partner and the smart sites choice for direct mail automation. So what does Postal do? Um, so gifting is not new to sales. I think the first time I've read about um, using gifting for marketing and sales purposes, which is um, in one of my favorite books, How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie. And that book was published in the 1930s. So it was um, 80 some odd years ago. Um, and I'm sure that concept is much older than that. Um, however, it is not widely used anymore, gifting for sales purposes, at least not in the you know, circles I surround myself with. And I think the biggest reason is the efforts it takes to send a gift. So if I'm doing pay-per-click marketing, which is one of the things we do here at Smart Sites, and if I wanna scale, it is a matter of a few clicks, uh, maybe add a few zeros, and all of a sudden the next day you get twice more results. Um, if I want to do the same thing with gifts, to send more gifts, I guess I would have to say, oh, I buy more wallpaper, uh, that wallpaper, excuse me. I buy more uh, gift wrapping paper and I buy more boxes and I buy more gifts and you know, I go to the post office more. Um, I would not even think to look for a automation solution, but guess what, there is one. And it connects directly with your CRM, Salesforce, HubSpot, uh, and so on. And uh, you could build in criteria and say, hey, anyone who is of high value, who is in my flow, um, I want to send automatically send them a gift in two days. And it's totally hands-free. Um, and then you get the data back. You know, group A, 100 people you did not send any gifts to. Group B, 100 prospects that you did send gifts to. Uh, which group did better and did it do better in a way that it pays for the postal service and gives you a return. Uh, that is the equation. And I think more often than not, you will see that uh, this more than pays for itself. Uh, so why do I love postal? And I'm gonna go through the math right here um, because I think in the end of the day, it's um, it'll be about numbers, right? So if you are a typical, I don't know if there's such a thing as typical, but um, you know, just a sample, just to follow the numbers, uh, typical B2B pay-per-click flow, you're gonna spend $30 per click to drive someone from the landing page. And by the way, if you think that's expensive, uh, you probably don't do pay-per-click or you're not in a high value B2B niche. Uh, but for so many, those are the prices that we'd be looking at for things like SEO and pay-per-click. We're paying uh, anywhere upwards of $50 per click, believe it or not. So if you do that per click and you have a 10% conversion rate on your landing page, which is generous, you hope for that, uh, that is $300 per form of fill. Uh, that doesn't mean these people are qualified. Um, if you are just serving the mid-market audience or just enterprise clients, um, you will see a qualified rate of lower, but let's say 20% are qualified and actually go through a demo. You're paying $1,500 per demo presented. If 15% of those people sign, you're paying $10,000 per new customer acquisition, uh, depending on what niche you're on, the price of your product, uh, that could be uh, reasonable or it could be not profitable. And you know the reason why uh, many businesses don't do pay-per-click. Uh, but let's rerun the numbers. If we add Postal to it, all of a sudden, instead of paying $1,500 per demo presented, I'm gonna give each of those demos also a $30 gift a box of chocolates maybe a um i think they have a tea set for actually 15 dollars, which looks a lot more expensive than 15 dollars. Uh, they have some soft baked cookies in these nice wooden personalized boxes for more than 30 dollars. but let's say 30 a 30 dollar gift all of a sudden it's thousand five hundred dollars uh i'm sorry 15 30 thousand five hundred thirty dollars you're doing for demo presented, 1,500 for that pay-per-click cost, and the extra $30 for the gift. Um, all of a sudden, that will increase your conversion rate, let's say by 16%. Instead of 15 out of 100 people signing, you're gonna get 16 out of 100 people signing uh, from that uh, demo presentation, and that's gonna give you a uh, 9,500, or specifically $9,562.50 per new, customer acquisition instead of 10,000. So that $30 just saved you over $400. So that is the, 
the, the beauty of Postal. Um, and again, if you are in a category that you're paying, you know, 10, 20, 30, 40 more dollars per click uh, or even less, um, you know, per click and then look at your numbers per actual qualified prospect per person you actually give a demo to or schedule some kind of appointment. Um, you know, if you're scaling, you're probably paying, you know, just a lot of money for that and, and giving each one of those people a $30 gift uh, really is not too expensive. Um, and I think you will see kind of the numbers like I'm showing in front of you for it to make sense. Uh, what else you should know? So uh, the way Postal works is you pay a SaaS fee in a marketplace, uh, a SaaS fee for the marketplace to have access to it um, and all the integrations, and then you actually pay for the products separately. It took me a little bit of time to grasp, uh, but it is not expensive. You know, I've uh, I know, been exposed to products, um, you know, ones that have outreach to me in the social media influencer uh, space and other spaces where, you know, they're pitching me a SaaS fee of, I don't know, $10,000 per year, $20,000 per year. Um, and here I thought it would be similar, but it is like $20 per user per month. And uh, depending on how you use the program, you might only need one user. So um, there is a SaaS fee, but it is incredibly small. And then you pay for the actual product. The product prices are not inflated. I thought for sure that's how they make money. And I was so confused when I saw, I don't know, I clicked <laughs> this a box of uh, tea bags. Um, just this nice gift box there. And I'm like, wow, like this looks nice. Like, let's see how much that costs. And it was like $16. And I'm like going through the whole process, just waiting to, you know, tack on a service fee in the end or double the price. And it, it was never increased. And then I, uh, you know, put that directly into Amazon and found a very similar product uh, for more money. So um, I don't know what the catch there is, but uh, the products in uh, this platform are very reasonable priced, reasonably priced. A $10 Starbucks gift card will cost you $10, right? Uh, they're, they're, I don't know where they make money. <laughs> uh, but maybe that, uh, that leads me to point three. They are well financed. Uh, they just... Uh, finished a uh, Series A funding uh, a few months ago, I believe is in May, that they received $9 million. Um, so perhaps, you know, who is subsidizing your gifts, those uh, venture capitalists, those angel investors, um, at least for now, um, you know, they are new. Um, and um, I love, you know, companies that are um, kind of in this environment that they are in right now, that they want to grow and they want to, uh, you know, to prove their model. Well, it's already proven, but they just want more use cases and they want to gain market share and they're not work, uh, worried about, you know, trying to uh, make a big profit on each account. Uh, quite frankly, I wouldn't be surprised if they're losing money in each account, um, but they're well-funded, uh, but they're new, um, you know, going through their system, their platform, um, some features that I'd like to see just um, isn't built yet. Uh, for example, there's no easy way to do an A slash B test to see, hey, what actually um, you know brings me more conversions, uh, cookies or uh, you know chocolates, right? Um, it would be cool to make some sort of uh, A slash B slash C test to test which gifts uh, perform the best. Uh, you could still do that test. You know, you'd have to do some uh, run some numbers just a little bit outside their platform, but um, there are some things to be built in the platform. They don't have a Zapier integration just yet. They promise to have one soon. Um, and then you could integrate a lot more with them. Um, so it could work in a lot of case, cases, Postal can, but not all cases. Uh, you know, where will it work? I think their you know, sweet spot is this like uh, these SaaS companies and, and heavy B2B. And uh, yes, it'll work for SaaS. Yes, it'll work for B2B. Uh, but really, I think it'll work for anywhere that you sell high ticket sales, uh, real estate, uh, insurance, uh, mortgages, um, you know, any B2B, any industrial where you have just the sales flow, the cost per customer cost you a lot. Uh, you have lots of competitors. Uh, sending gifts will, um, you know, just give you that return. Um, and consider your use case for it. Again, it's, you know, some people I think might try to run this and, through their outbound. 
uh, you know, account-based marketing and just send it to, you know, everyone, even people who've never uh, replied to one of their emails. It might work, it might not. Uh, probably I would start in uh, much more acute cases, uh, customers that have high value and already received a demo or, you know, already got a contract uh, sent to them or committed to uh, looking at a proposal next quarter. You know, really I would start in those obvious cases versus opening it up. Uh, you know, but really, as I was learning about Postal, and I was, I've been working with uh, Tara and Ben uh, from Postal, and, and they've been awesome. And, and Ben recently completed a lunch and learn for a whole team and, and actually sent, you know, sent everyone uh, Starbucks gift cards that was in the lunch and learn. I don't know if I was about to say that, but I did. Uh, I was very generous uh, with that and, and used the Postal platform to send uh, those gifts and uh, was very much appreciated. Uh, but anyway, I was talking to my billing manager and I was thinking, you know, hey, sometimes we make mistakes and, you know, we're all human, it happens. But it wouldn't be cool that uh, when we make a mistake in billing, um, also what happens is we automatically send this customer a box of chocolates, right? And it won't happen much. We'll send a handful of chocolates per year saying, hey, sorry for that billing mistake. Uh, you know, in addition to crediting the uh, value of the mistake, uh, please enjoy these box of chocolates. And, um, you know, I'm sure people will be appreciative of that. And all of a sudden, a bad thing could be turned into a good thing. So again, uh, consider your use cases. Uh, they're out there uh, more than you think, uh, but I would go uh, specific. Uh, versus broad when it comes to this, at least uh, as your initial, uh, you know, beta test of the product. Um, that's it. Um, that ends this presentation. If you are a current uh, Smart Sites customer, and if you're interested in Postal, please talk to your project manager. Your project manager uh, knows all about them. Was in that lunch and learn I spoke about earlier, um, and will give you more details and make an introduction. If you're not a Smart Sites customer, feel free to reach out to us. Also, um, if there are any exclusive deals we have with Postal or, or anything of that nature, we'll be happy to pass it on and also give our, our recommendations. Uh, with the product and see how else we could help you. Um, okay, thanks for watching.